Hello, saviors, and welcome. My name is Savar24, and today I am continuing Outlast 2. Now, this is stuff we've already seen before, so it's not a matter... It's a matter as to where the game is actually saving me. I can't make my own save spots. If I could, I imagine a lot of other people would end up in really disastrous what places. This? Ah, shit. You know, I found the one dead woman who wrote the message that was about to... That we're about to... Of the, of the note that we're about to come across, but... That's the only woman I've seen. And in hopes that she was carrying the Antichrist, she even plummeted to her own demise. Now, I don't know if... It, okay, yeah, I don't know... Uh, ah, I don't need to go through that again. What we do need to go through is a new territory. This is the area I haven't been to yet. And so far, the story about the whole Antichrist coming to rise may not be as far-fetched as we may be thinking. Because there's all kinds of, like, hellish signs. Showing that there may be more to this than we think. So, I'm not sure... I mean, doesn't mean that what Father Noth is doing is right. It's just that. He's in the house! Go up, 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 up. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, now where am I going? Ugh, this again. This. Uh, that guy trapped me and I was like, oh crap, do I go in the window? No, I go under the house. I'm still running from these assholes. Like a day of dough. Oh, did they catch up to me from behind? I was wondering what happened. The pitchfork happened and I was like, oh shit! N nope, I was supposed to keep on going. No, you don't. Also, it's cool that they animated a power slide into this. That's gonna be helpful in a lot of situations. And oh my gosh. Look at damn dude! Okay, there's the pitchfork. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, this is going to collapse. What the hell just happened? I can't. I don't know where to go! Oh, I'm not supposed to go anywhere. I'm guessing I'm supposed to wait for, like, the miracle thing to happen. I am seriously trapped and I have nowhere to go. The hell is gonna happen. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna have to happen. But there's. Oh! Okay. I thought I was supposed to be waiting for something. No, they were just tearing the house down around me. Oh boy. I was actually supposed to uh, go somewhere, but I couldn't tell where because it was so damn low. Oh, good lord. Okay, so at least that's done and dealt with. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. 
I don't know where the good and the bad is. I'm just kind of going places. Is this place? Is this door jammed? It's gonna be jammed, is it? Nope. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's anything good in there. There is no upstairs, so down the creepy death pit we go. Oh. Hello, dude. You did. Okay, so I should... Wait. This woman seems to be everywhere. What the hell? What does this say? What the fuck? Am I losing it? I don't know. You're going to heaven. Depending on what these people are doing, that is rather questionable. They, I mean, they keep on saying that they, like, aspire to be like God, but... But really? This is gonna be some rather... strange situation. And everything here is exceedingly biblical, and there is not... Aim. The children should not fear their duty, but celebrate it as a guaranteed entrance to heaven. There is no pain. Papa gave you life. Your fear is a tool of the enemy. God knows best. Engage the study. Engage study the whole. The whale saved Jonah from drowning. Jesus is in the desert with Satan. Abraham killed Isaac in his heart. Pro project. Draw angels. Who could be the enemy? Papa gave you life, and so your life is his. God gave you life, and so your life is his. You may not know that you are yourself the enemy. God... Oh, okay. Your fear is a tool of the enemy. Okay, so... What in the world? I mean, there's obvious depictions that they want to, like, aspire towards being like God, but... <coughs> Ow! What the... Okay, so I obviously can't stay on that. My battery's getting rather low, but it's still viable. Oh, wait, really? Did I take some serious damage from that? Okay, heal up. I'll, I'll, I need to check up how many bandages I got. I'm sure I can figure I've a way to get over this. One. One bandage left, and I got, what, what, how many batteries? I've got seven batteries. I'm stocked on batteries, but now I need freaking first aid kits. Oh, what's this? This Carson, I don't, I don't know. Miss Carson said I could not tell you what they're gonna do, but she did not say I could not write it. So please do not let them kill me. I love you and I love daddy, Juliana. Oh boy. Get over there. Yep. Fence. I can climb that. Just need something to stand on. Oh, like this. Yeah. Hey, with me. Oh, great. Marta's there. This woman again? Oh look, it's a holy father and whatnot. Oh jeez. Who is this woman? Come though they be like. She's singing. Okay. 
I can only imagine that Mars is just waiting for me, but at the same time, I kind of doubt that they're going to do something like that just yet. But then again, who the hell knows? Wait, is that where all the crows died off? Yeah, this is like the ruined bridge and whatnot. That woman is like stalking. Oh good, another bandage. I can always use that, considering I just used two. Okay, record it. Is that a dead horse? Well, she's right there. Hide you in Ezekiel's blood? What in the world is she singing? Oh yes, another bandage. This place is, is, is strangely empty. Like, exceedingly empty. I am heartfully sorry for having affected the prophet, offended the prophet, and I detest those sins because I have offered thee my God, who is all good and deserving of my love. I deserve and cherish thy punishment and invite more until the occasion that I am able to thy grace, able by thy grace and the grace of the prophet Noth to sin no more. Like, I know I don't exactly study the biblical references that are possibly here, so I'm kind of at a loss as to what a lot of this stuff is, but it's obviously, like, biblical references. And where is Marta? Oh, am I going to have to push another wagon, and then she's going to, like, show up somewhere? I can't seem to enter any of these houses. Oh, okay, so... I saw that crack in the fence. Ah! 
Oh shit! No, stay away from me! I saw this on the way back. No, no, get up, get up, get up! What are you doing? How the hell does she find me so easily? Come on, come on. Yes, get up. No, get up. No, get away from me, Marta. I don't know what the fuck your god wants from me, lady. That woman is something else. I have absolutely no idea what her deal is. But she obviously carries around that big old pickaxe resembling a cross. For whatever reason. Oh, good. An upside down cross. And, and yeah, in case some of you don't quite know, an upside down cross is like symbolism towards the Antichrist and stuff like that. Um, how are you looking at me? Like, seriously? And... What's going on? by the sin of Cain, rest in the earth till you rise again. The enemy waits in a womb unknown. Lord, use my jaw as a club of bone. Pay my debt for the sin of my birth. He'll, hell won't wait what wicked earth. Stand you guard by your heart and hand. Be fit to kill the devil in the good Lord's land. O Zion, O Zion. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly a keen study on, um, on Bible. So, unfortunately, I'm, a lot of these references are really going over my head rather easily. Okay, I'm going to reload my batteries real quick, just in case. The Reverend Prophet Sullivan Noth from, from, I can't really read this. This one's kind of hard. The Prophet Sullivan, to the Reverend Prophet Sullivan Noth from Caird Byron, as recorded by Nick Tem Tremblay. Well, I tell you what, this guy couldn't really spell for crap because his letters are really hard to read. Thank you for the extra copies of your Gospels. I have gifted them to those among my flock with the brains and eyes still intact so that they may read. But we are in need of more sacramental, sacramental, both for drinking in communion and for comfort from our pains and disinfection of our sores. 
My flock complains that you have promised more than you have given, and though I can, and though I can quite easily control them by the firm tenor of my voice and the heavy fist of my mount, I prefer the gentle path. You are the most devoted. Delo- you are most beloved of God and holy gift to us all, Laird. Oh boy. Oh great, I can hide in a confession room. Mary. Unfortunately not. not. Nope. Who's there? Who are you? My name's Blake. The outsider? Eudis? The father? I'm not anybody's father. I just killed me. You have to kill me. Why? Noth is coming back. With Mary. He'll hurt her and I'll talk. If you kill me, he won't have reason to hurt her. Please. How am I... How would I even do that? Do I have to go upstairs? Nope, apparently not. How would I be able to kill you? I mean... Is there like a knife or something? Do I have to kill him? the actions of a woman unburdened by an immaculate conscience. Mary. Oh, God. As for your yoke mate, he can't see you. It's me, Josiah. Please, tell him I don't... Let her go. Oh, God, Mary, I'm sorry. I didn't want... God hates vanity. So do I. The outside of woman has this world's destruction in her womb. But Val and his apostate stole away the unborn enemy. The fiend's father has oh, escaped. No. She will bear her filthy yield before dawn. We have only these few hours to find her and kill her and save this paradise from hell everlasting. Where is she? Where did Val take her? This is for you, Josiah. Make the woman scream. Where's the woman? The womb that harbors the Antichrist. I gotta be careful because of. The rebellious angel. I have no fear. Strength. Enemy. Enemy of my enemy. Enemy of my enemy. Enemy of my enemy. God in God here. Ow! What the? How did? the 
might. Okay. Poor woman. And this guy. Did they like stab him in his in his armpit there? It's hard to tell. Maybe they, oh no, it looks like they just cut him up on his chest. And as for her, what did they do to her? What did, did they just stretch her to death? Oh, good lord. These people are out of their minds. And we need to head to the mines. Oh, for... Shit, shit, shit. Get unstuck, please. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Ow! Get! I don't have time for that. Don't have time for that. Go up. Go up. 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 I am constantly running for my dang life here. Did they stop the chase? Uh, heal up, because I'm obviously taking a lot of beatings here. I'm sorry, I, my just my uh, my attention got caught by my PlayStation controller here. It started flashing for whatever reason. Oh, good, a battery. I can always use more batteries. Um, so now what? Now where is it that I must go? Oh, okay. Most obvious spot. Power slide. Looks like I'm safe for the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure that in the last scene that I was in, that child was- that woman was dead. Oh, okay, I'm able to enter two ways, but there's only one way out. Oh, these are all- These are all deceased babies. But she's just rocking around a little doll, like... Oh, she's like the coroner for these little children. So, how much more running do I have to do? Because this is starting to get rather annoying. I honestly have no idea, but I'm going to go ahead and just leave it here. Duh. They don't give you very obvious directions as to where you need to go, which is fine for the most part, but good lord. They do not give up. And then there's all, of course, the scenario where I had to hide inside of the church's um, confession rooms in order to try and get away from the uh, spotters. 
I had to hide inside one and then constantly crawl back and forth in between them in order to like avoid getting spotted. But obviously I didn't do that the first time around. Anyways, that's going to have to be enough for today. And we're going to have to and the next time we're going to have to try and find Lynn inside the mines, wherever those may be. And what is the deal with Marta? What is her position she's like the town executioner or whatever because i don't i don't know she she doesn't just i mean obviously she it's obvious as to why that little town that i was in only had that one woman with the knife uh, it was because that everybody else cleared out because marta was coming and it's like oh okay so it's apparently she doesn't only instill fear in us but she instills fear in everybody else if she's coming all hell's about to break loose pun not really intended uh, <laughs> but yeah there's all kinds of chaotic stuff that you're gonna have to go through in this entire game and it's just it's got its creepier factor like it did in the original outlast game and it is completely separate from the original which is great because sometimes a game that is like a direct sequel may not always be as good as the original. I mean, the original had a completely different concept with it being like scientifically enveloped, but there was all kinds of like religious stuff being built around it. And this time it's completely religious and there is absolutely no science involved. It's strange. And I'm still wondering as to Marta's position as to how Father Noth even started to arise. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm still probably missing, but for now, I'm just going to leave it here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, Sage.